everyone, Jim here. So hey, I'm working on an oil-fired boiler in an old rental house that we have. The boiler's running, but uh, we're not getting any heat through the radiators. It doesn't feel like any water is circulating. Um, you're looking at the circulator pump. It's a Taco pump. Um, I think that's bad or something's wrong with it. And uh, the rest of it seems to be working. I can tell that the thermostat is switching the aquastat here. Um, you can hear it clicking. So it's calling for heat correctly. Um, there's power here. So something's wrong with this motor here and uh, I found on looking on YouTube that it may be possible to fix this by just taking it apart and cleaning it out sometimes these things get jammed up so I'm hoping that's the case because I can save myself um, a very expensive service call which would ultimately probably be a pump replacement and you know three or four hundred bucks so somewhere and uh, apparently what can happen is these things just get jammed up so ours was not spinning but it was getting very hot I could feel the uh, the body getting hot, so it was definitely uh, kind of uh, seized or something. So I uh, got a three eighth inch, uh, sorry, a, uh, I don't know, maybe it was a quarter inch wrench, took off four bolts and uh, pulled out the unit. And uh, you can see, so this is the impeller, and the good thing is it's spin, so it means that the uh, motor isn't seized. And now I can start to see a problem, see some scale on the Color blades, and if I look down inside, you can see this rust was built up probably because it had been sitting for a while. And my guess is that the impeller blades were stuck on that, and the engine just couldn't turn. And so, hopefully, I got it in time. I'm going to clean all this out and uh, clean out the blades a little bit, just scrape it out, get it free, and screw it back in. And uh, hopefully, it'll start turning. There it is. Sorry. I'm just using a screwdriver. I don't know if it's the right thing or not, but I'm just going to scrape away as much of this crap as I can. Figure out how to dry it off, get it clean, and uh, hopefully, sorry for the bad camera work here, but so what happened is, is that this hard water chemicals and this well water settled inside the bottom of the impeller when I shut it off and uh, froze everything up. There we are, it's all done. Boiler's running, motor's running great. Hot water coming out, hot water going back in. So, it was about a half an hour fix, no parts, totally free of cost. Thanks to YouTube, thank you to everyone who posts their videos and teaches how to do stuff, it's really cool, thank you.